Man, we're gonna destroy these bikes. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Come on. Thing is sweet. What's up guys, it's your boy Fast Lane. Today and today, we got something special for you even though it is freezing out here. Guess what? We're still bringing y'all some awesome content. Big shout out to the guys over here at Manowar Harley Davidson. If you're ever looking for a bike, make sure you come check them out. They will take great care of you guys. I wouldn't be able to make these videos if it weren't for them. If you end up buying a bike from them, let me know and I will come and go for a ride with you guys if you'd like. Now you guys saw my first ride video on the Iron 883. We read your comments and we're coming at you with a video that you guys requested. goes ready oh wow yep you I mean immediately right off the bat you can just feel the torque that this bike has I can already say for me I would go with the 1200 over the 883 because I'm a big power guy. Like I like big, brolicky bikes. If you're new to the channel, I have three bikes. I have a Yamaha R1, also have a V-Rod Muscle, a big, brolicky muscle cruiser, and I have a Supermoto 701 Husky Varna. The cool thing about these bikes is that they're so customizable. Like you would be hard pressed to find two of these bikes that are the exact same. Because there's so much aftermarket support for these things. I mean, yeah, that sounds good. Are oh, you putting exhaust on here? That would sound sick. And they've been the same for a long time, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. It kind of allows that aftermarket community to really create unique parts for this bike. Now, one thing I will say right off the bat is that my feet are vibrating like crazy right now. Which on a long ride, I mean, my feet will probably start to get a little numb and a little tingly. And people might argue that that's just a Harley thing, but the Lowrider S, the Sport Glide, and my V-Rod muscle did not vibrate my feet like this one's vibrating my feet. Yeah, it's got power. Like I said, that's not what this bike was made for. I wouldn't say that it was quick. I might say it's peppy in those lower RPMs. And once you get up to those highway speeds, I mean, I think this bike is best suited for someone that wants something that's super customizable and fun to ride around the city. Now throwing this bike around, it definitely does feel very light. And it is very light. It's a nice raw feeling bike. All right, here we go. Let's give it a nice little test. We're in first. It's got way more pep than the 883, but like I said, that's not, this bike wasn't necessarily built for speed. Ready, set, go. It's a little wet out, so I can't go too crazy. There's full throttle, come on. All right, there's a little zero to 80 for you, which is really the most you'll probably be doing on this bike, to be completely honest, anyways. We got some water. Man, we're gonna destroy these bikes, dude. <laughs> this brand new 2021 Sportster. This was my bike. I'd obviously do a little burnout right there, but. Gonna be respectful. But even at full throttle on me, you're not breaking that back tire loose. I feel like on any of my bikes, if I would have given it full throttle right after coming out of that puddle, that back end would be a little squirrely on me. If you want a nice, no BS bike, 
This is probably the one you're, you're looking for. This is something to cruise around town on. That's not just oozing with power and it's super customizable and you can ride the bike night. This ain't a bad option. Already getting there dirty, man. <laughs> Heck yeah. And then I'm gonna hop on Hawk's old 883 right here. They do look good together, man, from behind. The only thing that's really different about the 1200 is the handlebars and then the front fairing. And that's it. I mean, they look pretty much the same. Yeah. I mean, right off the bat, you feel how much more lean forward you are. Like my arms are definitely a lot more extended forward. How does the 883 have a more aggressive <laughs> seating position than the 1200? That, that blows my mind. Throwing this around, this definitely feels a little bit more agile. Like I'd rather have this in the twisties than the 1200. Right now, I'm actually favoring this 883. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. And y'all know how much I love big, muscly, powerful bikes. Wow. I, I'm shocked. Whoop. We got all the gravel, man. All the gravel. On a long ride, I don't know if you want to be on this bike. I mean, right off the line, you can tell that that bike has a more torque, but I'd say if I'm in the twisties, I'd want to be on this one because of the more aggressive seating position. I feel like it gives you better control over this bike. Oh, let's see how these brakes are. Brakes are good. I think also because this bike's so light, it's easy to stop this thing. This is way more comfortable. Yo, yeah, that's what I was saying, way more. How does this one have a more aggressive seating position? Oh yeah, see, he just... <laughs> off the line probably just smokes me, man. But the 1200, I, I will say, looks sweet. <laughs> oh, he's out here having no time of his life, baby. All right, let's see how these bikes do on the highway. All right, here we go, full throttle, second gear. <laughs> like this bike won't get you into any trouble. Like if you like to do longer highway rides, I feel like this is where the 1200 will be a better bet over that 883. But yeah, I mean, six gear, full throttle, I mean, a Bobby's just, that's me right now. The throttle is pinned. So if you ride with other 1200s, keep that in mind. Like on the highway, you're gonna be in the back of the group, for sure. If you have a group that likes to get jiggy with it. All right, Bobby, I'm gonna switch here. I feel like I would enjoy this more on more twisty road or aggressive riding. But if we're doing like highway cruising or like any sort of long trip, this one all day. All right, oh yeah. Immediately you feel the instant torque difference. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, come on baby, come on, come on, oh yeah, oh we get in front of this truck, uh, <laughs> I was ready to roll, I would say that 883, you start to lose power around that like 70 mile per hour mark, the 1200 around 90 is where you really feel like it starts to lose power, <laughs> look this thing's at 100 and it's still got some pull, versus the 883, once you hit about 90, I mean, you feel like there's just nothing. Weight-wise, you really can't tell a huge difference between these two bikes. All it would do was 95. I know. I, yeah. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying when I was on that bike, man. I'm like, I'm pinned and Bobby's just rolling. <laughs> Man, look at this freaking fat boy. God, that's one of the guys that works here and that thing is sweet. All right, but we made it back from our ride. Bobby, what are your thoughts on the big difference between these two bikes? Power and comfort. Yep, I agree. And it's not necessarily what you see, what it seems either, because this one is more comfortable. But yeah. if I'm going out like the road we just went on, I'm choosing this one for the 
the controls and the way it's set up, the ergonomics. Yeah. If I'm wanting power, well, obviously the 1200 is probably the biggest difference between its smaller size, smaller brother being the 883 versus any other Harley. They have a few different engine sizes, but the 883 to the 1200 is probably the biggest gap. Because 107 to 114 or even 107 to 117 is nowhere near the same as these two, at least that you can really tell. Yeah. So I hit 95 on this and then Dylan seemed like he was cruising past me like, <laughs> you know, he's just yeah. sitting there comfortable. Yeah. Yep. Tucked down, trying to get uh, wind right and everything. And, and just, I, it had nothing left, so. My choice overall, because of price point and everything else, I'm going 1200 just because it doesn't really cost too much more than Yeah, no, I agree 100% with what Bobby said. If you're going to be cruising around town and you want something that's a little bit better on the highway, a little bit more comfortable, then I'm going with the 1200. But if you want something that you're going to be hitting the twisties with and doing a little bit more aggressive riding because of the seating position, I'm going with this one. You can always get the 1250 kit and the 883 will be just fine after that. But yeah, like I always say guys, if you never need a bike, make sure you hit up my boy Bobby over here at Middle or Harley Davidson, any of the sales guys, and they will hook you up. Let them know I sent you and they'll say great carry up. That's all we got for y'all. If you got some value out of watching this video and riding the 1200 and the 883, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, join the fast lane game.